Hello, I wanted to show you the different styles of web stations that you can use with the product. Now there are thick client uh, applications that can be installed on a computer, but a lot of our clients want to use web-based versions uh, of the software so that they can use it distributively, they can use it uh, over the web and have people in multiple locations. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Just a quick overview of each web station. The first station that I'm going to show you is the scanning station. And this station's purpose is simply just to interact either with your scanner or documents or images on your, your machine, grab those, put those into batches, and then process those accordingly. So we call this our web uh, scanning. And you can see we, we can interact with your scanner, your desktop, and those kind of things. Of course, you can manage any batches that are being prepared for scanning. And then, of course, you can upload documents from here as well. So a lot of different options that we have here. I'm actually going to go ahead and show you um, some, you know, we'll upload some sample documents here real quick. And you can kind of just see how they how they work here. I'll just show you a few. We'll hit the open button and you'll see that the software is now processing those images. We do have the ability to manage these at this point. We can simply either uh, rotate them, do a color manipulation and those kind of things. So a lot of different options there. And we have the ability to kind of make sure that our documents are ready to be processed downstream in the formats and colors and rotations that we expect. And then of course, once we're done, we can click release the batch and that will release it to the project that we've selected when we were logged into the, to the application. So scanning is a very simple concept. From here, documents go into what we call verification. And within verification, we can manage different queues and those sorts of things. Now, the good part about verification is that we can obviously look at the document, point and click where information is. And so on the left, you'll see the different documents that we have loaded in a batch. In the middle, the actual document that we have selected. And then on the right, a copy of the fields that the software extracted for the document. Once we are conf once we've confirmed that this batch is, is what we want, well, you can see here we can kind of jump around in the batch and make sure that we, we're checking each document accordingly. We can then perform uh, what we call a completion of the task. And then when we complete it, it continues down the next stage in the workflow. And then we go back to our queue list and you can see we can manage, manage queues and batches uh, from here. The last station I will show you is the administrative part of the software. And in this part of the software, administrators have the ability to manage different parts of the software uh, through the web. And you can see we have a summary information where we can see any errors. We can also see our very important license information. We can even get graphs of productivity and such. We do have some monitoring. Uh, monitoring gives us the ability to kind of see different projects and how what the throughput was uh, on those projects during a certain time. We can do that from a batch level to tasks to even looking at different what we call sessions or people that are logged into the software. And there is a nice little event log that shows us what's going on, what's the traffic in the software looking like, and you know we can also see any potential errors there as well. We have some reports built out of the box and you can even add your own custom reports. Uh, reports will show you things like operator output, productivity, and those sorts of things. Um, how many documents you've processed uh, in, a, in a day, a week, a month, a year, etc. And then lastly, administrators have the ability, of course, to manage different settings. Um, anything from tenancy in the software to the different projects to users to having groups, which just kind of combines different users. And then, of course, we have some super important uh, application information here that you can see. Um, actually, I'll even log in using my administrative account so you can see these different email information and things like that. So we have a lot of cool options that give us the ability to manage the software using this administration and monitoring console. So once again, you've seen three different things, uh, three different styles of web stations. We had our scanning station, which gives you the ability to get documents into the software. Once they're into the software, we're in our verification station where we can then manage what the software extracted on the documents. And then lastly, if you're an administrator or if you um, need to administer the software, we have an administration and monitoring console on the web that gives you the ability as an administrator to make sure documents and batches and images are being processed accordingly. Also gives you the ability to, to manage user permissions and application permissions as well. So that was a brief interview of what our web stations look like. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please reach out to us via our website and we would love to take care of you. Thank you.